Hey guys, this is B Car. Uh, we got a little trailer here. It's B10. In it, they announce a release date of 5 February. So next Tuesday should, or next Monday actually, should be good times. I forgot what day it was. I am a horrible human being. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and jump into Jensen's range and take a look at C. Uh, assuming that everything in the alpha build, uh, I'm on the, uh, the public testing. Assuming everything is there, it's going to stay that way or relatively that way. We should be uh, looking at alpha 10 pretty much. So the three that they were talking about was actually three days of testing and then the release, which is crazy. I thought we were looking for another three weeks, but whatever. Nice new splash. Steam telling me it exists. And we got to take a look at a quick start guide real quick. A few things change. The ranging the bipod buttons are on there now. Uh, Q is no longer drop supplies because that's different. And uh, not really much else is different there. I think the console button is actually there now. Or they actually put it on there. Oh, the free look button too. And you see the difference between uh, the space bar now includes a little thing called vault. It should be good, yes. And uh, also, the uh, the scroll wheel has this the range selection thing. I've rebound that because the scroll wheel, no. We're going to leave the scroll wheel for dealing with weapons. As my phone goes off several times. Thanks, Chess Network, you're live. I'm not going to watch you right now. And here we are, the new splash screen. Public test. Hey, we done did 300 bugs last time. Back at it again with another public alpha 10 test. Um, yeah, so things are going to be happening. Many people are probably going to have issues with motion blur. So uh, reset that cache if you do. Uh, but anyway... Um, you got a music player over here, too. We can switch tracks. There's a bunch of cool things in this thing. All right. Anyway, shooting range. Let's go. We're going to start with US. Um, nothing's really different. Of course, we're at Jensen's range, so... The map is a little updated, updated now. We're going to be over here on the weapons range. Look at that actually telling us things that are useful on the map fucking brilliant all right uh, let's go ahead and actually we need to go ahead and uh, figure out a squad so we are uh let me create a squad here uh a bunch of different things let's go over u.s roles because we only have u.s and militia here that's the factions we're going to play with these are the default roles for u.s and militia uh, squad leader is the M41 Tracer with the red dot scope and a vert grip. So nice controllable automatic uh, fire capabilities. And you also have uh, multiple different color signal smokes. Actually, they're not signal smokes. They're actually full smokes. So the long time duration, the more than the um, Grenadier's capabilities. Got a sidearm and a uh, grenade. And of course, squad leader with the M4 Tracer. Uh, with the this is the optic version. Same, pretty much kit, pretty much same kit. The medic has the M4 with the M68. Typical stuff, red and white smokes. Uh, we're gonna skip that. M4A1 rifleman. Uh, the cool thing to note is typical rifleman. Uh, normal riflemen have sandbags and barbed wire. They have a wire fence laid down too, so that's super cool. Riflemen have a utility in addition to existing. So, you know, good stuff. You got a vertical grip, one without the uh, scope, and you have an M68. It's just a 1X. It looks fine. The, the What you can see on the front of it is actually pretty good. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's actually changed or anything, but it's... It's pretty good, my friends. Uh, here is the optic version. No barbed wire and sandbags to deploy. And no sidearm. Next. 
Square ones don't have side arms either. Here's the M249. This is the red dot version. Um, comes with a sidearm and a grenade and a smoke. You know, not typical stuff. And then we go into fire support roles. These are limited based on your squad populate, the, the amount of people in your squad. Um, this M249 with the optic on it. Um, and these now have the deployable bipods. So you push button when you're up against something and you become a recoilless laser gun, basically, is what it is. Uh, and this is the new hotness right here, M240 Bravo. Sidearm smoke, no frag. Unlike our M249, does not come with frag. It's got the bandage and the, 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 the entrenching tool. Uh, M4203, no sight on top now. Uh, but of course you're gonna need that because you gotta you know you gotta figure out how to range the stupid thing and the zeroing function works out super well here um so the smokes that the m4 shoots out of m203 uh less duration than normal smoke i believe and the pattern is a little bit different too they're more like signal smokes the sass looks beautiful that scope is awesome uh sidearm pistol frag and a regular smoke along with binox so you're useful uh, and the lat it's the same as you ever known red dot m4 no frag uh but it does have with two rocket two law launchers disposable fingers uh let's start with our machine gunner we're gonna go ahead and spawn in at uh, us army yeah here we are here's the m240 bravo uh no fire select because of course uh, you can always semi-auto with your freaking trigger finger. Now uh, look at that suppression. We've knocked down several targets. Or just one. No, we knocked down two. Um, so... If you're gonna shoot this moving... You're gonna be walking suppressive machine. However, if you're actually trying to aim at something you want to deploy the bipods but from a crouch position it's probably controllable if you're firing a group of people this is fine um but we want to be able to provide medium to long range cover with this thing and we do that mainly for behind sandbags like this and you push in button and you become deployed and you become the nastiest laser beam ever in this game. It's straight out of the box, we are zeroed at 100 meters, and I'm knocking down pie plates at 100, and bodies beyond that at 150. So, it's pretty good. Here's a reload animation for you. Now, the cool thing about the site here, it's a little adjustable. You, once you're in the sight mode, you can hit your ranging key. You get a cue on the screen telling you what you're zeroed at right now. Uh, how about four? Uh, let's let's just keep it simple, stupid. How about 200 meters for right now? We let go, and we're there. And the reticle becomes where we're at. Let's see if we can hit that pie plate. That would be kind of cool. And of course, you can always focus on a target and knock the other thing down. Um pretty effective range and you can just move out and it'll uh, fold back the uh, bipods let's go ahead and deploy here no optic on this obviously so we are basically like telling where others you know we're shooting where others tell us to shoot basically we're looking for outlines we're not looking at heads with this thing not not in a million years I mean maybe you are if you have a sick computer and you're rendering you know fucking a kilometer out you know full body bullshit but i mean you know you have a three thousand dollar computer at that point and i would like that computer but i don't have that capability right now uh but let's go ahead and take out the max hey we can literally hit at a kilometer look how that side opens up there we go we can we can we can shoot to a kilometer. We can't even I can't even render that far. Look at, look at the bullet drop. 
How about the... Let's just try to aim for the back. Can we see anything? My computer is so bad, it can't even render with the FV as it is right now. But that's whatever. Uh, anyway, of course, you know, Beretta is the same as it always was. That's about as effective as you'll ever be at the Beretta, unless you're super, super crazy good at the game. But let's go ahead and change kits. Uh, let's take a look at this command kit real quick. Uh, we're going to take a look at the... We're going to take a look at the squad leader kit. This is the red dot in the vertical. Let you have to take a look at the red dot. Da ding It looks nice. I don't know if it's actually changed from the old one, but it feels like it has. All the weapon mechanics have changed. I feel like I can reasonably and reliably fling targets. Or at least pretty close to, you know, when my mouse wants to cooperate. Uh, playing targets pretty far out there. So, and of course you can always zoom and it cuts out your breathing for a stamina cost. And the tracer for the M4. Three round, uh, it's two rounds, then a tracer, then three rounds of tracers until the end of your mag. Seven or eight shots should get you two tracers. Also, the bolt thing, or whatever round is in the chamber when you change mags also probably matters, but, you know, it's whatever. Check fire support out. Uh, let's real quickly take a look at the optic on the uh, M249. Full deploy. Hey, look at that. We got a scope right here. Now, now we're sighted in for 300 meters, which we can't even see right here. Let's go ahead and move over. We're going to ignore all those beauties for a second and find some cover over here. Here's a sandbag that we can just hit a button and deploy all the way down to, regardless of the height. And uh, 300 meters. Oh yeah, here we go. So we're probably a little bit over that. So how about this? Now this is less about suppression and more about putting rounds on target. There's a pie plate down. Uh, max zeroing on here. You don't, because it's fixed. I'm an idiot. So you gotta use the little, uh, sight range here. Um, looks like 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, if we're aiming at 6, we probably want to go between 5 and 7. So that little small hash mark. Yeah, my dudes. Hash mark is what we want to go for. Uh, okay, can we... That third time. You want to put the hash mark on the bottom. That's the ticket. Um, if you can't really tell, let's see. Uh, and that should be 800. So that looks like 800. For the bottom ones, you're gonna to want to put the uh, target sort of in between the uh, the, long, the long lines. That's and we're out. So here's a reload with the scoop on top. Flip it up. Check the cover. Settle your bag. Lift the rounds. No charging because who charges weapons anymore? Anyway. It's pretty good. Let's go back to our um, stuff. We're going to take a look at that in a second. Oh, by the way, relook is here now. So you can move around. You can just hold the button and you hold your modifier key is probably the best thing to use and you can free look around while you're moving in a direction you can kind of sort of change you can't really turn while you're in free look that's the thing so you'll have to let go to turn but you can sidestep to the front right front left and you can do all the movement that you can up top but you just can't turn while you have the the uh the modifier key held down for your free look it's pretty useful if you want to be running one direction and checking another and um, that is the inside of my neck. That's cool. All right, let's go ahead and change kits. Let's take a look at that sass. Oh yeah, my dudes. Take a look at that thing. On my low spec computer, that looks pretty gnarly. Now we don't have a bipod on this, so we're gonna stand right here. We're gonna crouch. Actually, we're going in prone. And that's a new thing. Prony animation won't allow you to move forward and backward while you do it. 
pretty much cuts your momentum completely. And I'll show you a little bit more about that later. Take a look at this shit. This is amazing. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, we can, you know. Pretty great magnification out that far. But of course we got 200, so you right click and then you zero, you have to bring it up. It's just, let's, let's be bold. Let's just, let's just get insane. Let's just get insane, my dudes. Okay, a little bit over the shoulder there. That's gotta be a hit. How about that thousand? How about a click? It can range all the way up to a click. There you go. You let go, and the range becomes effective. And... No, that was a miss. Okay. Let's try one more time. I got it on the first try last time. That's another miss. I'm disappointed in myself. I hit this the first... I have a video of me doing this and walking up and doing it on the first try. There we go. That was pretty easy. Considering it was a stationary target. And of course, Sass's get Bretta's. That's about as much use as I'll ever get out of a Bretta in the game. Um, let's see here. Fire support. Um, let's check out ranging on the, uh, the law. So, US gets laws. Here's your M4. We're gonna ignore that. Um... Oh, right. Yeah, three. Duh. Here we go. Law, high explosive, anti-tank. Alright, we're ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and take a knee. And it's range for 100. So let's go ahead and uh, pop this guy right here. A little short, because I forget that guy's not at 100 if I'm on the left side of the range, like I am right now. So let's go ahead and uh, range her up here. Let's go ahead and hit that 200 meter one. Uh, X, 200, let go of X, and you're ranged, and we'll focus, and we'll do one of these right. That was definitely a hit. So, you get two of those in the kit, and not much else. Smoke grenade. Okay. Uh, anything else we need to go over here? Grenadier. Uh, Grenadier, this is your typical M4 site, or M4 iron site, so, you know, nothing crazy. You got a three round burst because it's not the A1, so no auto. Two stage triggers, so you just click for one, you hold for more. That's how the three stage, or two stage trigger works on most things that can burst fire, which are just going to be the M4s pretty much. Uh, but of course, that's not what we use this for. We use this for things like, you know, putting smoke markers out. So let's have a little America. Uh, how about, how about right uh, there? That went a little low. Uh, let's switch to white. And we're going to go ahead and range it. See, as the grenade right, grenade sights are flipped up, let's go ahead and zero that for 150. Let's put it, like, there. Yeah, that's got some distance to it. And for shits and giggles, we're going to max out the sight on the grenades for blue. 250 meter range, according to the sight. And, of course, you can always try to add more trajectory on there. But uh, And then we'll just do that. It's going to kick it out. Should put it... Yeah, right. Close. By the time it took for us to shoot the three rounds and faff around a little bit, the red one's gone. So these are definitely markers. They have a taller sort of signature than your typical smoke. So the Grenadier should be using this to point out insanity that they see that they can't take out with a GP round, like armor positions that are hidden uh, or general navigational markers that they're using to talk to you about. Uh, anyway, the the reason that we, you know, love grenadiers is the fucking grenades. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and put one 
Let's go ahead and uh, zero for hundred. And uh, do one of these. It was a little short. Pretty effective, though. We get 10 of these babies in this bag. Uh, let's try 150. And from here, we should actually be able to uh, nail this uh, target. I hit the sign. Let's actually try to hit the target. There we go. That's pretty much where I aimed it at, too. So. So that's that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the typical rifle then. Here's the bird grip one. We got a fully auto setting. Of course it's not controllable at all, so don't even bother with it. But the cool thing is we get razor wire and sandbags and they work just like before. Let it go. You pull your shovel out. You do the shovel in. And of course, razor wire doesn't take long to dig at all. Three for stage one. Not even your fifth shovel dig before you're in business, and it's maxed out on HP. Same bags a little bit more. Three and a half for stage one. And you're at seven and a half to eight for it's on stage two. And it's at full HP. Looks like a 10, so. You'll be sitting there for a little bit, taking care of it, but, you know, the ability to deploy this shit yourself is brilliant in the grand scheme of things. But let's go ahead and uh, pull our uh, screen saving bandage out. And let's take a look at this bad boy. Here's some emplacements. Some of these you're familiar with. This guy is kind of a big deal. He's a vehicle that you enter that does not move, but, He's got a pretty impressive little um, uh, repertoire. Uh, these are frag rounds that have tracer elements. Quite a bit of it too. And uh, it's got some range. Uh, let's go ahead and try this. You can hit things well out past a kilometer of this guy if you're really on top of it. Here's the reload. Nice little stereo effect. And you can move the turret while you're reloading too. It'll come back up when it's ready to fire. It's very distinctive. The enemy will know and by enemy, I mean the U.S. will know when you deploy one of those, and you won't see vehicles for a long time. Um, speaking of cool things to deploy, Mill get a mortar now. And, of course, it looks like this, and this always looks the same, so no difference. Yeah, that's the U.S. mortar there. This is the Ruski mortar here taller profile. I think they all have the same characteristics and damage and stuff like that. I could be wrong, but um, we're just going to assume, yeah. Oh, and speaking of things you can do now, about that mounting system and that vaulting system, that's a little bit more there. Um, example of how tall things you climb from a stand, we can get over that, and we don't take damage for, you know, small falls anymore. Of course, there we go, and we're over. We can't really stand on really small things. If it knows it can mount, the system knows you can mount it, yeah, I'm probably gonna be moving straight past it. I don't think I can climb these. Well, I can. There you go. And straight into the razor wire. Gotta love it. Speaking of other new cool things, before we move on to mill and test out some of the mill weapons, let's, um, Take a look at things like this. Take a look at this bad boy, this BTR. Gotta love that bug. Um, but yeah, so uh, we're in this guy. This is the command. This is the driver's seat, actually. And we'll switch to the commander seat. Or actually, there is no commander seat properly. This is the gunner. 
Um, but yeah, so this guy has armor piercing and a coax. So armor piercing. A little bit of effort required, but not too much. Uh, your coax gun. Great for spraying down infantry. Nice rate of fire. And... We got a pretty cool uh, smoke thing. Looks like 235 all the way over to 145. It's a nice 90 degrees of uh, cover there. About uh, Probably about 15-20 uh, meters in front of you. And it's centered on whichever direction your turret's pointing because it's mounted to your turret if you actually take a look. Well, it kind of sort of is. Let me jump up here. Yeah, see, it's back there. That's the system. It's a little bit more pronounced on something like this BTR. Your 30 mil variant. And of course, remember there's your bug, and you have two, and you become the gunner that can take out things as nasty as that striker. And you also have high X. Which could probably... I forget if it takes it. I don't think it actually does that, but it's whatever. You also have coax. And your smoke launch air. No typical stuff. Um, the MTLBs also have both of these variants. This is just a straight up remotely uh, gunned um, like machine gun. Uh, you get 30 mil variant there. It's a little scorpion sort of thing. And you got this one right here that's got this cannon. It's a little bit better than normal. That's your viewport for the driver there in the MTLBs. It's a lot better than it used to be, for goodness sakes. DKT is actually doing damage against these guys. I wonder if it's some sort of bug with the others. That uh, maybe it's just this map because this map is a little different. But anyway, um, also there are Zoo 23 variants of the MTLB and of your transport truck. They're basically towed. We're not really towed. They're attached to the vehicle. Uh, here's the MTLB version. Uh, getting it in empty. Here's your driver's bay port and you're going to move over to the gunner and that's the gunner with the one coaxial no smokes and your third position is the zoo gunner so this is really more like a three a three person crew this is actually pretty good you've got a commander seat here really and this is an additional gun that a commander would probably have or they would actually have probably access to smokes in a realistic situation and then you have gunner who is exposed but um has intense firepower capability i mean uh, let's just go ahead and pop that mtlb i wonder if there's a bug or if it's not actually supposed to kill the mtlb Maybe this is purely an anti-infantry weapon. In which case, I look completely foolish. Let's go ahead and get out. We're done with that. Uh, we're going to switch teams to Mill. We're on Mill. Let's take a look at Mill. It's the AK-47 Tracer. There's also an M4 Tracer. Their colors are, obviously, white, green, and yellow. Group kit will skip. 74 Rifleman gets... Same bags and barbed wire. And the AKM is the other variant for a rifleman here. They also have an M4. And here's your AKS. It has the 1P78 optic. With a sidearm here. The Scout, the SKS, has a sidearm and a mine and an IED and a grenade and binocs. It's pretty fun. 
And here's the AR, the RPK-74 with bipod. This is the big banana clip, so I think it's 45 rounds in there. And they've got a Makarov and a grenade. Of course, Mill has access to the M249. This is no scopes. Uh, it comes with a Makarov and a Greg, and you get the bipods. Of course, we uh, really care about the PKM. Let's go ahead and spawn in. Here's the PKM. It's nice. It's just like it's M249 uh, or M240 Bravo Brother. Similar caliber round. Similar insanity. Similar laser rifle capability. That was like 20 targets down over that entire belt. Here's a reload animation for you. Huge box because huge round. And there's a charge. So there you go. That's the BKM. Uh, let's see. What else we got access to here? Fire support. Let's take a look at... Uh, let's take a look at this Grenadier real quick. The AK Grenadier. There's your typical AK stuff. And you know what the smoke markers do. But let's just go ahead and take a look at how the range is different. It's off center. So it is kind of tricky, but with these grenade rounds and the effectiveness they have, you're not really bothered for the left right uh, off axis stuff so much. You're just basically. You know, you're trying to put rounds on target. Here's 50 meters. Let's just put it straight into that uh, target here. Let's ignore that happen. Let's try uh, ranging it out. We got a ranger here. I think we can go up to 250. No, we can't. So it'll go all the way down to 50. Then it'll go 300 high. Yes, my friends. We want to go out of nowhere. Here's our 300 meter targets over here. Let's reload. We get a little semi mortar effect here. Which come down right about now. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Knock down all the targets. That one came back up. So the SVD site, is it good? Yes. And we can zero it. And you know, we can hit, we can hit a thousand from here. <laughs> we just pull it up, we hold shift, we aim it, we do it. Okay, you know, maybe not that one. Yeah, we got that one, though. So, you know, typical bullshit snipers. Get ready. Uh, that was my body. So let's go ahead and switch to our rockets. Let's go ahead and take a look here. AKS. Automatic. Completely dumb if you're using that much automatic fire at once. Um, no sidearm, but... Cool, heavy rocket. Now, this is not your typical round. And this is not your typical range. You know, 100 meters for an engagement with an RPG. 100 150 is probably reasonable if you're being assaulted and you, the enemy group includes armor. 100 meters, we should be nailing this guy. Look at that high arc, though. Uh, for comparison, from this position here, um, sighting, uh, we got a lot more range out of this guy. 500. Let's try a 300 meter shot, because I'm pretty sure we can do that from here. 
Yeah, that was a hit. You know what? Let's try 500. Of course, the cool thing about the heavy anti-tank roll is you get two AT rockets along with your tandem warheads, so you have a chance to redeem yourself if you whiff the first one. That's two, three, four, five. So this guy right here should be... And that was a miss, I think. I think we'll call that a miss. I mean, we could really take a look at this if you want. This thing's got a shit ton of ammo, so... And this one has a little bit different ranging too. See, it's ranged for two, but we can go all the way up to 12, which is way out of range. Let's get back here. And of course, once we re zero, we zoom in, there it is. We're at 12. And yeah, so I guess. Yeah, I guess that's it. I don't know, is there anything, without being able to, to spawn as the other uh, factions, there's really not much else to go over. Um, here's the Grenadier. Oh, the other thing I did rediscover with this thing is the, when you're using the typical sights and you're trying to get 150, I found that, um, this angle right here is the one to take. Should give us the desired result. Right on target. So what I'm aiming for is I'm leveling the target with leveling, leveling the target vertically above the where I want to aim with the intersection between the front side post and the end of the barrel. Seems to work. And of course, since we're at 200, we want to hit 200. We aim for 200. Like so. That's over. That still hit all the targets, though. And uh, the max range with this guy, I believe, is 400. Or 500. Okay. And, of course, it just looks like we're, you know, launching rockets at this point. Uh, this should be a fiber. That might be a little short. short. That might be on target. Okay. We got, we got, we got, we got RNG'd. That's gotta work, right? I am disappointed. I am disappointed. Two, three, four, five. That should be the right targets. There we go. I think we got some hits there. Of course, there's a minimum travel distance for these guys. I don't know where it went, but it definitely went somewhere. And that's going to do it. I don't think there's anything else, so... I will leave you with laser fire. I will leave you with laser fire at... Un kilometer. That was f not French, by the way. If you are ever caught out and need to fire after you've been ranged at a thousand, just do this. It'll probably be just as effective. Or just pull out your Mac and uh, do one of these. That's probably just as effective as what I just did.